So for the last few years since I've started doing DDLC on my channel, I've been asked every now and then how to download and put the mod files into the DLC itself. And it is quite simple to do. So in this video today, I will show you a couple of methods on how to do it. Because a lot of different mod packs have different ways of installing and putting them on and also starting up the game. The first thing you want to do is either go on dokimods.me or Reddit. If you ever download a mod on Reddit, make sure you're downloading the mod from the actual mod developer themselves because I don't know if the other ones are going to be viruses or not. The second thing you want to do is download the fresh version of DDLC. Either download a fresh version from the DDLC site or go on Steam and re-download the game. Once you download the mods, go on the local files of DDLC and literally just copy and paste all the files into DDLC. And when it says, do you want to replace these files, just click yes. Because most of the files you want to get rid of are for the OG DDLC and you want to get rid of them for the mods. So once you've done that, click play on DDLC and that should run. But if that does not run, go into the game folder and delete first run. Some mods do not run unless you delete this file. Or delete script.rpa because some mods do a different script file. And it just end up keeping the original script from the OG DDLC. But obviously delete first run. If it doesn't run, then delete script RPA. But some of the mods I've been playing recently, I have to go onto the file itself to click on a specific run tool, which is made just for that mod. Like in my recent Page of Life mod, I need to go on the file and click on the Page of Life run tool for it to work. So not all mods can work from click and play on the Steam file. When you download a mod, some of the files do come with a how to install text document. So click on that and it should tell you how to run the mod because that's helped me out a bunch. But if not, try the other methods I've just listed in this video. And those are all the methods I know about how to download a DDLC mod. So let me know in the comments down below if any of this helped you out. I hope this video was able to help you out when downloading the mod and being able to play all the masterpieces that people have made in the DDLC community. And if you guys want me to make more DDLC commentary videos in the future, let me know in the comments down below as well. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.